To connect the smart camera system to the Con 3500D, you need the 6200 overlay, a UWC 430 smart camera, and the Con 3500. Step one is to connect the 6200 to the console on the main panel with the 15 pin connection. And connect the keyboard to the 6200 and turn on the camera switch. The camera cable and light is already connected from here in this video. When you turn on the camera, you'll see the 6200 overlay show up in channel four down here. And that's the data that's coming from uh, the smart camera. So in order to put that on top of the video screen, we'll set that up in the DVR. So we're using a mouse connected to the USB port, which is an extension that goes into the DVR. To get into the menu, right click with the mouse, go to settings, then go to camera. You need to change overlay type on camera one to be camera four. Then under camera four, change the aspect ratio to be 16 by nine. And then right click to get out of this menu. Now go to the display menu. The, uh, the way that this works is it's gonna subtract the black color on this screen, leaving the text, and it's gonna put that on top of the other video channel. So in order to do that, select the eyedropper tool, and you'll see the mouse change. Click somewhere in the black to select the color, and you'll see the color change down here. Uh, so now you'll see the video with the text shining through it. So right click to get out of this menu. Right click again to get out of that menu. Right click one more time. And now you can double left click on this quadrant of the screen. It'll blow it up full screen. So now you'll notice we have two time and dates on the screen. This one is generated by the 6200 and this one, which is behind this uh, screen protector, is generated by the recorder. We're gonna keep the one that's generated by the recorder because that's how the file systems are named. So in order to change that, use the keyboard, press the letter S for setup. And we're gonna to go to the data position menu, which is number five. Sorry, hit the wrong button. Hit number one, five. So we're gonna select time and date, which is option B, and then select zero to be empty. And then now D and make that empty. Now we'll select option M and let that be uh, water temperature, eight. And J, we'll set that to be uh, depth three. And then option O, we'll change that to be the compass seven. And hit escape to get out of this menu. All right, press S again, let's go back into the setup menu. Uh, go to the comm setup, option six. And we're gonna change this to be the smart camera protocol, option two. The baud rate, we're going to select 115, 200, which is option two. Now we can go to the setup screen again by pressing the letter S. And we can go to the transducer setup, which is option seven. We can zero your depth, option one, and press Y for yes. You can change the units from feet to meters. You can change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius, fresh water or salt water. You have those options. Go back into the setup menu one last time and you can go to option eight, the compass setup. Uh, if you point the camera in a known north direction, uh, then press the option one to zero north. That'll give you a uh, calibrated north direction. Um, two, you can toggle on or off the compass rows in the bottom right hand side. So we'll leave that on and that's that's the complete smart camera setup. So now uh, when the camera's you know, changing direction, you'll see the compass moving. You can, I'm, I'm just pressing on the pressure sensor so you can see the depth working and it shows you the water temperature as well.